So, here's another tutorial about a super practical fusion composition, which acts as a wonderful background for shorts or reels. And it works great in parts of your videos where you want to display some information or motion graphic. And the best thing, it is assembled in only a few minutes and you can use it in endless future projects. Let's drag a new fusion composition into our timeline and open it up. Then we press shift space and start with a fast noise node. Let's connect it to our media out and head over to the inspector. Here we will change some values. The detail I will put to 1.57. Then I will increase the contrast to 2.33. I will decrease the brightness to minus 0.53. Increase the scale to 2.56 and set the C thread to 0.01. All these values on top are values for the contrast and the brightness of our noise and the C thread is which animates the noise. So with the C thread it will move the noise around, scale it up, make it smaller and I choose a really small C thread so it's not too fast. Now let's take the next node, press shift space and add an abstraction node. If you hold down shift and you drag this onto our connection line, it will insert it in the middle of both of our nodes. For the C thread, I will take the pre-blur, turn it all the way up. The same for the abstraction strength and the iterate abstraction. Then you need to check this box for the quantization. And for the steps, I will increase it a little bit to maybe 12. And the softness to 0 0.035. Then on the edge strength, we can leave the values and deselect this draw edge option. And then we add our third node, which is an edge detect. Let's put it in here. And here we only need to change three values, the edge width, I will pull it all the way down. The brightness, I will decrease it just a little bit. And the gamma, I will bring all the way down to 0 0.5. Now we already have our basic structure. If we go back to the edit page and we have a black background, you can see we have our topography lines and they are animated, but we can still improve them. So let's take this fast node nose and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl Shift V. This creates an instance of this fast noise node and we can delete the merge node. And an instance is like a mirror node. So if you change something on the fast noise node, it will also change on the second node. And if we change something on the second node, it will also change on the first node. And we want to have this effect on all the values, but there's one value where we don't want it, and it's on the color tab, our alpha value for the first color. We will right click it and then check this D instance. Now there isn't a green box around our value anymore and it isn't linked to our first node. So we can go to the first node and on the color tab we can change the alpha value to 1. Now our background is there, but in this image there is no background. We can watch this in the right viewer by selecting this and pressing 2 on the keyboard. And let's do the same for this but pressing 1, so it's in the left view. And as you can see, on the right one, this is the top node, there are black parts in the image and in the left one, these aren't there, they don't have any opacity, there are only the white parts. 
And what we are doing with this second node is creating more contrast on our whole composition. So let's change the view back to our media out. And let's deselect this. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. You are also welcome to give me feedback and tell me what you like to see next, what you find good or not so good in my tutorials. I will also appreciate if you subscribe or message me on Instagram. And I will take the output of this instance and put it into an invert color node. Now you can see this is after, this is before. And this invert color node will lead into a background node, which is white. So let's change this color to white and take this output and put it into the mask input of this background. Now we can take a merge node, connect this and put this one into the blue input and another merge node, uh, sorry, another background node, which is black this time, into the green input. So our edge detect goes into the yellow. The yellow is always the background. The blue is a mask input and the green is a secondary input. And now you can already see we have some darker parts and some lighter parts. If you look at the edge detect, which is the version before we merge this, every line has the same intensity. Now let's go back to the edit page and put one of my text presets over the background like this. I shorten it. And this is our end result. And if you want to exceed 80% of motion graphic designers, watch the next video where I show you how you can make this effect in 3D.